power of purpose. Dispersion is weakness, concentration is power, destruction is a scattering, preservation a uniting process. Things are useful and thoughts are powerful and the measure that their parts are strongly and intelligently concentrated purpose is highly concentrated thought. All the mental energies are directed to the attainment of an object and obstacles which intervene between the thinker and the object or one after another broken down and overcome. Purpose is the keystone in the temple of achievement that binds and holds together in complete whole. That which would otherwise lie scattered and useless. Whims, ephemeral fancies, vague desires and half-hearted resolutions. Have no place and purpose in the sustained determination to accomplish there is an invincible power which swallows up all inferior considerations and marches direct to victory. All successful men are men of purpose they hold fast to an idea project a plan I will not let it go. They cherish it but open it and develop it and want to sail by difficulties they refuse to be beguiled and to surrender indeed the intensity of the purpose. Increases with the growing magnitude of the obstacles encountered. The men who have molded the destinies of humanity have been mighty men of purpose. Like the Roman laying his road. They have followed a long well-defined path and have refused to swerve aside even when torture and death confronted them. The great leaders of the race are the mental road makers. And mankind follows in the intellectual and spiritual paths which they have carved out or beaten. Great is the power of purpose do you know how great let a man study yet in the lives of those whose influence has shaped the ends of nations and directed the destinies of the world. In an Alexander a Caesar or Napoleon we see the power of purpose when it is directed in worldly and personal channels in a Confucius or Buddha or Christ. We perceive its faster power when its course is along heavenly and impersonal paths. Purpose goes with intelligence. There are lesser and greater purposes according with degrees of intelligence. A great mind will always be great of purpose. A weak intelligence will be without purpose. A drifting mind argues a measure of undevelopment. What can resist an unshakable purpose what can stand against it or turn it aside an earth matter yields to a living force and circumstance succumbs to the power of purpose. Truly the man of all lawful purpose will in achieving his ends destroy himself but the man of good and lawful purpose cannot fail. It only needs that he daily renew the fire and energy of his fixed resolve to consummate his object. The weak man who grieves because he is misunderstood will not greatly achieve the vain man. Who stepped aside from his resolve in order to please others and gain their approbation will not highly achieve. The double-minded man who thinks to compromise his purpose will fail. The man of fixed purpose who whether misunderstandings and follow accusations or flattery isn't fair promises rain upon him. Does not yield a fraction of his resolve is a man of excellence and achievement of success greatness power.
Hindrances stimulate the man of purpose difficulties nerve him to renew exertion mistakes losses pains do not subdue him and failures are steps in the ladder of success for he is ever conscious of the certainty of final achievement. All things that last seal to the silent irresistible law conquering energy of purpose. Of the night that covers me black as the pit from pole to pole I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance I have not whined nor cried aloud under the bludgeoning of chance my head is bloody but unbowed. Matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. <laughs>